This video will explain the basic operation of the signal generator in Matrox Vero. From the dashboard, click Signal Generator to go to the Signal Generator page, or at any point from the menu on the right-hand side. The Signal Generator has two independent channels. Each channel can generate up to one video stream of UHD, 1080p, 1080i, or 720p, four audio streams, one to 64 channels each, one ancillary data stream, and optionally, a separate key stream for filling key applications. On the top of the screen, there is a selector for the gen lock frequency. This will determine the formats that can be generated. In order to start a channel, you need to toggle the selector on the top. This will start the generator immediately. The number and formats of the streams are determined by the current generator profile. Changing the profile will change the formats that are generated. The profiles you are seeing are the default ones, but you can create and edit your own profiles. In order to do that, you can use the Actions menu to save the new profile. Or you can go to the Profile Management page here on the right hand side menu. On this page, you can see all the profiles, edit, clone, or delete them. The default profiles cannot be edited or deleted, but they can be cloned and serve as a base for a new profile. Or you can simply press the New Profile button and create a blank one. I'll create a simple profile with 1080p video and a keystream. In order to do that, I will enable the video stream, make sure that I've selected the right format, leave the audio and ancillary streams inactive, and activate the keystream. In this case, I will select the Y only format. When I save it, I can return to the Signal Generator page and select the profile that I've just created. It will be activated immediately and you can see that the output streams are a video and alpha stream.